Hello. All right. <clears throat> Getting going a little slow today. And Todd should be joining us shortly. Uh, welcome back. Episode 22. Had a little bit of a break there. Needed to recover. Cover some of our strength. All right, so today, today, I'm going to be working on a little bit of banjo birds. Right. So I'm going to be doing some real basic, uh, I'm going to block out uh, some things to the music. Todd has created some backgrounds, and we're going to get that hopefully in and uploaded so I can move my stuff around. If you're watching, say hello in the chat. All sorts of weird things. Hold on.
All right, narrowing some of this down here. try it out.
All right. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. Needed to find the backgrounds.
Sorry, I'm working this out in my head. All right.
All right.
are back and that means more time for enjoying the outdoors give your deck an upgrade with olympic maximum stain and sealer in one from the home depot protect the beauty of your projects for years to come and don't worry about planning ahead with olympics weather ready technology you can stay where you want because it's rain ready in just eight hours upgrade today to america's most trusted home care brand at the home depot patient records and always catching up. It's squeezing in family, fun, and finances. Laurel Road understands that doctor time is different. Enter Laurel Road for Doctors, an online bank with products, insights, and benefits.
about to join.
What is up? Is your camera on? It's about to be. How loud? I think we're echoing. <laughs> is it really loud? I can't hear you. Oops, I just muted my mic. Yeah. I feel like it's a stadium next to me. How's that better? And next. <laughs> yeah, it's better. Cool. Want me to share my screen? Uh, sure. There we go. Now we're both up. for two hours today let's do it or however long we want to go nice so i started i'm kind of tweaking out that that rough that i gave you yes so the the basics of it are the same in terms of where stuff is and kind of where it falls I'm kind of widening, so I'm just kind of playing with the spacing on the overall thing, but most of the stuff is still pretty close to the same. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll be fine. I mean, I'm just doing some real rough, uh, rough stuff. Rough stuff. But also, like right now I have the, the bird kind of like bouncing along, but I couldn't remember. We had talked about maybe having like some, you know, some pants. Maybe yeah. walking along, or he, or he could just be kind of like dancing. Uh, I'm thinking, I was thinking if he's just kind of dancing. Okay. And like I said, there's going to be some, uh, what I thought would be kind of cool is when we get to like, like on this shrub right here that overhangs, like uh -huh. doing like, like a dangly bit that comes down, it's got flowers on it, but there's some flowers and stuff kind of on the end of it. And maybe yeah. that's what it's working itself towards. Like it's kind of bounding across all the like over this way and then maybe down and then kind of around or something, you know what I mean? But it gives it something to go towards. But I don't know if it needs to be an ant. I, I think it'd just be something simple, like it's just dancing towards. Okay, that's fine. Because my thought was that everything kind of converges right here. So you could have that bird still kind of up there, kind of perched on something. And then the other bird could be over here with the little worms or caterpillars, with the frog, with the fish, whatever. It's all kind of in that central spot. Sorry, he's going to end where? On the, on the trees? No, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. I was just, I was thinking that if we had something here, it kind of, you know, if the bird kind of comes down and it's around there, grabs something and flies off with it or something like that. But then I thought at the end of all four, or the fourth one where we have everybody in it, uh -huh. it's all kind of centered around this right here. Okay. Where you've got this, you know, you could almost do like a pullback on it or something like that right. where you've got... You know, the bird's up here kind of doing its thing, and then this guy's down here, and the other bird's over here kind of doing its thing. The fish are dancing, and then this guy's over here doing whatever with the worms or caterpillars or whatever. Okay. So I don't know how much depth to put into this, because, I mean, they're, they're pretty flat characters. Yeah. I'm so I don't know if it makes more sense just to keep... I mean, it's got to have some dimension to it, I think, otherwise it's going to be kind of boring. Okay. But I don't want to. I don't want to make it too far back into space or anything. So most of this is like a flat, or it's like going to be like two flats like in front of each other. But everything's like stacked up. Yeah.
of the thing that I have, uh, the clip that I pulled, I play through this thing twice, and it is like 20, 20 seconds. But I can cut that and make it more like 12. Hmm. I don't know. I think if it's if it's too long, it's it's gonna be too long. It's just gonna be. But if it's too short, it won't feel like it's anything. So you said it's what you said it's like twelve twenty seconds, but you can cut it to twelve. Yeah. What does the twelve seconds sound like? Do you have it cut at that? Yeah. Give me a so here, let me play. The, I have the the twenty two up right now. So. Uh, give me one sec. All right. You ready? Yeah. So that was the 20 seconds. Yes. Yeah, it felt, I mean, it's pretty long to have him doing something. Yeah. What, what was it? So just play it again. One sec. If we did the other one, let me see if this is the right one. But. So that one was like 15 seconds, but I played it a little bit slower. Okay. Um, and maybe that's all right. Well, what? Play, play the other one again. Okay. Get it where it goes. You know, something like that. Mm -hmm. So the first one you said was 15 seconds. So it was a little bit slower. Yeah. Because I think, I mean, I think that's probably about right. Okay. I'm thinking like, if if they're doing something, and let's say I'm trying, to, I'm trying to like block it in my head in terms of like time. But for this first one, if it starts off like in the nest or whatever, yeah, and kind of hops out, that's one thing, right? Mm -hmm. Then it kind of flies around or jumps about, that's another thing, and then it kind of gets to like the the end thing, the second tree, right? So, so each one of those things gets like three to four seconds, yeah, right. And if you do that, then I think that's about it. Okay, let me. Uh... Edit this. You know, I've been playing with the uh, that swampy idea kind of thing. Yeah. I thought it would be really cool, and I don't know how it would change the other one, right? But if we had one of those trees, it basically is a cypress tree. Mm -hmm. It's got all those big roots, like in the ground. Or into yeah. the water, yeah, yeah. and maybe the big fat bird starts off kind of on the ground, but it ends up jumping through some of those roots to get out to where the yeah. Because I think it'll 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 add something to the to the composition if it's not as balanced as it was. Okay. Find an image of that.
What's up, Sam? Everyone's like, where were you on Tuesday? <laughs> I was waiting. Wasn't the same without the pod. Sam says the banjo mo uh, music is really loud. Sorry. Let's see. Desktop. Let me see what's. Maybe that's why no one was on earlier, Todd. It was just too loud. They're like, what is that sound? <laughs> too much banjo. Might have to, might have to kill this audio if I'm just sitting here scrubbing back and forth. Might be annoying. He should just fly off, right? At the end? Yeah.
Sam. Uh, am I using OSB? Uh, it should be coming from OSB or OBS. But my mic could also be picking that up. It's probably both. Hey, Todd, can you say something? Something. All right. Thank you. I'm trying to fix that. Sam said he wants to help us troubleshoot. Good. Can you hear it at all, Sam? I changed some things on this. Or is it just funky? Some of it, Sam, I'm scrubbing in Harmony. Like, I'm actually scrubbing it. So it's like scrubbing it in Maya. Because I'm trying to listen in just how I, would, how I would animate in Maya. So that could be part of it. Sometimes I play it regular and it should just play. But sometimes I'm just going back and forth. No, so like, get ready. 
That was just me scrubbing back and forth. Thank you. 
goodness. <clears throat> What are you oh goodnessing? Uh, I'm just placing this uh, ball in places that I think it should go. But you know when you don't like I'm trying to make it do like a little loop de loop. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you just put it in positions, you know it's not like smoothing the curve out or anything. So, <laughs> so it's just like it's darting in really strange angles. So it looks really bad. I'm not like smoothing this out or anything. It's not the easiest thing to smooth out. It's slightly better than After Effects in the graph editor, but not a ton. Hmm. Is it perfect? Oh, it's so perfect. <laughs> that was supposed to be a circle. It's not even close. Once again, Todd, it's probably e it's easier for me to like just animate this in Maya <laughs> on a flat, whatever. I could I could just do it faster. Then I could kick out the images uh, to here and then figure it out. I just can't control the uh, the little thing I'm animating as, as easily. Well, I'm good with whatever. Yeah, I might do that after this. So the other thing we'll have to figure out is how the camera will move, or like how 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 big is the scene? Does that make yeah. sense? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have to figure that out. Hey, are we ready to uh, upload our our video? Oh, yeah. Where can I find that video? 
Anywhere movies are sold. Uh, it is in the... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Escape pod? Yeah, if you go into the escape pod folder... Video. There is an... Yeah, videos. It should be... Intro. Uh, in, intro video? Is that a folder? Yeah. And if you go inside of there, there should be a renders folder. Yeah. It's right inside there. All right, folks who were who were watching, all one or two of you. Todd has made a wonderful video that, that I am going to try to upload real quick. Let's see if we can do this. Can I stream and upload at the exact same time? I don't know if I can. We'll find out. This is our channel trailer, correct? I believe it is. What do you call this video, Todd? Escape pod introduction? Yeah.
He's Sean McComber, and he's Todd Factor. All right, Todd, I think it is almost up. Let's see here. The video is up on the, uh, on the page, I believe, but... If you're on right now, Todd created a, uh, <clears throat> a little trailer video for the channel that is now uploaded. If you want, you can open that up and look at it. I think you did an amazing job. Thanks. Spared no expense. Okay, I gotta get a new thumbnail for it though.
All right. How's your stuff going, Todd? Oh, uh, boy. So I definitely swamped it. <laughs> I don't know what you think. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, I I like a lot of the stuff that's up here, and I think we need to have like different levels of ground. Yeah. So I was thinking if this is just kind of raised a little bit, and we add some of the Spanish moss kind of stuff to some of this look. I thought it would be fun though is maybe if we have like the uh, it has depth to it, but it's flat, right? Yeah. So to keep it really flat. But then if you've got oops, wait, what's that? Hold on a second. There's a layer that's on. What the heck? Where's that layer? All right. But what I thought could be kind of fun was if you've got, you know, you've got the frog here, and then you've got the other bird kind of perched here. Mm -hmm. You've got the fish kind of dancing right here. And then you kind of have the other bird either up here or like here, like like in the roots of this tree, yeah, kind of dancing around. And then at the end, if the other bird just kind of jumps up and perches right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? He can just come out from behind the tree or kind of flutter down or across. They all, they all just kind of show back up and they're, and they're doing their thing. Um, I don't know. So you had said earlier about those first two trees that I was jumping around on something yep. about like cherry blossoms well what I was thinking was again because we're just going to kind of muck with this but what I was thinking was if there was like like on this particular one there's some kind of flowers like on this end it's almost like they're not blooming over here on this mm -hmm. side but on that side they are so you know if it starts from like over here and it kind of goes up or down and then kind of over and maybe just f or flies off past some I, I don't know it doesn't have to do anything with that i was yeah. just thinking it'd be kind of cool to have what i was trying to get was turn this off for a second i'm trying to think of it in terms of so we've got the bird if it starts here so all this stuff is kind of leaning in this stuff's gonna be so everything's kind of pointing your eye down yeah. to the center which is going to be kind of right there with those guys. Um, that's the only reason I really had it drooping there, and I was just thinking while well, it was drooping. But it doesn't have to be that. It could just be bouncing around the tree and take off. No, no, that's fine. I was just trying to figure out if those would fit because you're getting pretty swampy, uh, which is fine. So then I was thinking you've got, like, that Spanish moss that would probably... But if you're looking for something colorful, then... I don't even know that it needs to be that colorful, right? It just—I was just gonna put something on it to break it up. Cause, so if I take, uh, crap, hold on a second. If I take all this stuff and put it in here and turn this off, cause this is what I had initially. Yeah. Which I think works fine, but I don't know if it feels like anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I thought at least this starts to feel kind of like this doesn't quite fit as of yet, but I can change some of this up too. But I think it kind of fits. If it's yeah. got Spanish moss and stuff in it, I think it'll fit okay. Yeah. Um, but I thought this had more character to it and we could play and it kind of fit to me. It kind of fits with the banjo thing and kind of, it's not Appalachian, but it's maybe it is. <laughs> maybe it's West Virginia swamp. I don't know. I think it. I think it's fine. Oh crap! Oh, I thought it was gonna die on me. Because <laughs> I can go through and I can do some kind of value on all of this um, to kind of get it set up. But I mean, if I if I. I don't think it has too much depth. If if I paint everything flat. Yep. Then it's going to flatten out anyways. It'll just look like a multiplane shot from straight on. That's kind of what I was going for. Yeah. So basically have foreground, kind of the midground, farther back, and then I'll just make some generic shapes with more kind of hanging stuff to kind of give it that feel um, that's underneath a canopy or whatever. Yeah. 
Okay. I think that'll work. You think it looks okay? Yeah, I do. Okay. I mean, it's rough, obviously, but I'll clean it up. No, I think it's good. All right. I have a... Uh, I actually have a meeting that I have to go to, so... Oh, wow. Well, that was a good call it, call it quits. Nice. So I think, for anybody who's still on here, uh, we're probably going to do Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1... Uh, maybe one to three, something like that, and see how it goes. So Todd and I are really trying to work on finishing the first uh, little animation for this Banjo Birds. Uh, hopefully within... Our goal was in a week, uh, in a little over a week from now. Um, so that's what we're going to shoot for. We'll see if we can do it. So probably Tuesday and this next Tuesday and Thursday we'll be, uh, we'll be working on that. <clears throat> so if you're curious, tune in. Uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for joining. I think that's it. You have anything else, Todd? No, I don't have anything. All right. All so right. long. Bye.